Now that we have the Symbian development environment set up, we can install the most important component, which is Qt for Symbian. And we will also install the Qt SDK for Windows. We visit qt.nokia.com. There we click on Download and on the LGPL3 tab. Now we choose the Qt libraries for the Symbian platform and download the installer. The installer will detect our previously installed S60 SDK and install the Qt libraries into it. We keep in mind that we need to install Qt on the same drive on which the S60 SDK was installed. I add dash Symbian to the installation directory in case I want to install Qt for another platform later. Qt for Symbian is now installed on the computer. We also want to install Qt on our phone. In the folder where we installed Qt for Symbian, we find a file called qtdemos.sys. That's an all-in-one installer which will install the required POSIX and Symbian, Secure Socket Layer and the standard C++ and Boost libraries. The Qt libraries themselves and Fluid Launcher with couples of other Qt examples demonstrating different modules of Qt. If you have previous versions of Qt or Fluid Launcher on your phone, they need to be uninstalled before proceeding. Now we execute the installer. Confirm the installation on the phone once and wait until everything is installed. After the installation, the Fluid Launcher opens and we can play around a bit with the demos. Let's now download and install the Qt SDK for Windows, which includes Creator. From the Qt download page, we get the Qt SDK for Windows. And install it. After launching Qt Creator, we check Tools, Options, Qt 4, Qt versions, to verify if Qt Creator correctly detected the S60 SDK and Qt for Symbian. That's it. Now we are ready to develop Qt applications for the Symbian platform. Thanks for watching.